I'll sit here. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Body Balance here at Geelong's gym. I'm Natasha. I'm hoping that you'll join me today and have a fantastic class. If you're new to Body Balance, I want you to just think about where your body is today and take any options that suit you today. Um, if you're pregnant, just make sure that you, again, take the options that are suitable for you today. I'm going to be demonstrating different options throughout the class. So let's get started. Start the music. And we're going to start down on the mat in child's pose. So bring your big toes together, back towards your heels, and just sink your body down towards the floor. As you breathe, see if you can soften. Let your elbows sink, your head. Breathe a deep breath right into your back. And then take your arm and reach it through underneath. See if you can let the shoulders sink deeper into the mat, the ear. Feel that beautiful rotation through the spine. Let's do the other side. The thread through and exhale as you sink. When we come into your breath here, breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the nose. Bring your arm back out. Come into horse stance on your hands and knees. Cat pose, arching through the spine, pressing into the floor, and then pointer, front leg, back arm, reaching long. Let's add the breath. Exhale to cat. And inhale the other side of the body. Back to cat. Really press and feel your spine round. Now find the length in your spine. Draw your belly in. Look down. One more time. Down dog. So tuck your toes, lift your hips high, and push your weight backwards. And when you get there, I want you to walk through your heels. Feel the back of your legs opening. And maybe add a little body. Some movement side to side. So this is your opportunity to really let go. Let's take it a little further. Come right up onto the toes and bend your knees heaps, pushing your chest towards your thighs. Lift your sit bones to lengthen your spine out. And then start to press your heels towards the floor. Beautiful down dogs. Let's walk our feet forward to our hands. Hip width apart, the front of the mat, and just fold into forward fold. You can hold your elbows, bend your knees to get the chest onto the thighs, and then lift the hips high. Thighs you feel comfortable. And just move, if you wish. You just fold. Slow. And then the knees and roll up one vertebrae at a time. And get ready for sun salutations. So take a breath in, lift up to extend your out pose, and then forward fold. Come on back down. Hands to shins, flat back extension, tuck in chin, back to forward fold. 
Back leg steps back to lunge. Sink the hips. Down dog. We lift the hips high and push them back. Now come forward to plank. Keep your core on. Drop the knees. Lower halfway. Into cat. Top it off. Roll shoulders back. Baby cobra. Push back. Down dog. Back leg steps forward to lunge. Step feet in, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine out. Exhale, fold it down. Front leg this time. Inhale, step it back, lunge. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Do you want to stay on your knees or your toes this time? Exhale, down. Inhale. Into up dog, lift inside. Squeeze back. Exhale, push back. Down dog. Inhale to lunge. Step in, forward fold. Exhale. And rise with your breath. Line some length here now, really fold. Lift your sit bones high and long, head to hips. Hold again. As you lunge, push the heel back, bring the chest through. Down dog, start to lengthen through the legs and slide forward into that plank. Strong core. Elbows in and push. Shoulders down, push back. Lunge to the back leg. Can you step it all the way forward? Step in, fold. Now breathe in, rise. Let's go a little deeper. We're halfway through these. More length, more warmth. Come on back down. Front leg lunge. Sink the hips. Down dog. I'm going to just show you the pregnancy option here. Coming forward to plank. Dropping the knees. Instead of coming down, you can arch your cat. And then inhale and come through cow. Let's go down dog again, everyone. And lunge. Hold. What up, guys? Breathe. Let the breath flow with you. So let it go. And breathe in. Feel the flow. One more round each side. Lunge back. Down dog. And just roll. Please find a rebel. Strong and long. Going to your level. Taking your option to feel your body awaken. Let's fold again. One more round. Let's go all the way up. Last chance to get flatter. Touch your chin. Down dog. The music is going to stop in a moment. We're going to keep going. And push back. So stepping into lunge. And then stepping in to a forward fold. We're going to lift up to standing strength. So sink your butt back, weight through the heels in intense pose. Think about sliding the shoulder blades down the back. You might need to tuck that tailbone under a little. It's really lengthen your spine. And try this. Open arms wide. Just feel a tiny baby back bend up in your thoracic spine. Can you breathe deeper? 
As you exhale, come a little deeper in those legs. Now front leg steps back. Reach up, come into warrior one. Place the back heel down. So make sure the hips forward. Right down in the legs. Turn to me, warrior two. So you might like to reset your back heel and come right down, yeah. You see your knee right over the ankle. If it's forward, just push it back and feel about opening through your hips. Sun warrior, turn your palm up, sweep it back. For a little more side bend, just add a little press. Just breathe in between those ribs. Pull down, just into the legs a little more. Triangle. So we mill it straight your leg, then reach for the wall and windmill again. See if you can draw this thigh up behind you. Might take the shoulder back even more. If you like, your breath. Feel the chest letting go. If you're feeling strong today, feel free to just float the hands. Good, right? The other side. Step in. Turn this way. Intense pose this time. Straight into the wide arms. Come deeper. It's like you're sitting right back into the chair and drawing your shoulder blades back. Front leg. Worry one. Breathe in. As you breathe out, sink into the leg. Feel that beautiful calf stretch. I love that feeling. And letting go. Let's go in a different way. Worry you two. Turn. Reset. And right down into it. Good. Can you soften and reach? That's that little bit further. How about a sun warrior? Inhale. Exhale and open. And in again. And breathing out. Strengthen your core here. You want to try and lengthen these underside ribs and strengthen the top side. You want to take the arm back with me. You might go here or all the way around. You might float. So good to have a good stretch. Especially when we're stuck at home. One more pose for standing strength. So turn the heels in, sink into our wide squat, and open up your heart. So draw the thumbs back, shoulder blades back. Just make sure your butt's tucked forward and under. So you've got a few options. If you're feeling strong today, you could lift your heels or sink right down deep and just smile. Maybe it's a grimace. That's okay too. Just work the strength, work the opening, and you'll feel better for it. And release. Stepping feet in. Balance. I'm going to step just back off the mat if you want to too. That's okay. Coming into our big, tall pose here. In India, they call this palm tree. 
let it go. Coming into tree pose, you could have your toe down, foot below the knee or right up above the knee. And then just bring your hands to prayer when you feel comfortable. Strengthen right up your standing leg, into these glutes here, and right up the torso, out through the head. Once more, breathe in open and shine out your heart. So if you want to, you can hook the knee, or you can take a hold of the foot and kick it out. And then let it go. Back to palm tree. Breathe and lift right up onto the toes. Let's do the other side. Let it go. So reset. Glue your toes, your tree roots into the floor and find your option on this side. It could be lower, it could be higher. Don't be afraid to keep your toe down if that's where you need to be today. Always come from that place of steadiness and grow. Breathe in. Or do you want to go to that next level? Do you want to hook? Or do you want to extend? Then let it go. Coming into dancer's pose. Take the arm around, grab the inside of the foot with your hand, bring your knees in, lift. Now kick into the hand as you dive. Try bending the standing knee a little to keep the hips square to the floor. Really activate through your glutes. On the other side, let's go. So reset. And let's find our equilibrium. Find our breath. You'll have a calm breath to steady you. Go. One more, palm tree. Ready? Lift. And release. Come back onto your mat. We're coming down onto the floor. Swan to open our hips. So if you're new, you might like to start in 90-90 in your knees. So you're going for the 90 degrees. Or you might start to take the leg back. If that feels good. You might take the hip under. If it doesn't feel good, take it back a notch or two. Or just come out of it. You come down to elbows. If you want a little more, come over the knee and push it out. Remember, always listen to your body and always listen to my body. Bring your chest back to the middle and lift. Coming into the quad stretch, reach back, grab on, and try and get the toe into your elbow. If you can get it there, you could go into the mermaid. Or if you're like me and that's a bit of a struggle, you stand to the side and the elbow. And release. Let's change. So you can just windmill the legs. We're ready to go. 90-90. Or the next level. Leg back. Or lifting up and under. Lift the chest first before you come down. Notice how your glutes start to open more. Do you want that bit more over the knee? Coming up. Let's do the car 
nice stretch. I love this one. You get to feel it right through the hip flexor, all the way through the quads to the knee. Keep working. Our body opens just that tiny bit more, everybody. Coming to modified half lotus. So right leg is crossed in front, or you bring it up on the shin or up on the knee. You have a force though, just come to a position where you're comfortable, where you're seated. Now you've got a couple of options. You can slide forward here if you want to, or you can PNF stretch with me. So just draping arms lightly on the legs. And then as you breathe in, press the knees up into the arms. And as you breathe out, you just literally let it relax. Let's do that again. Let go more. Got one more. Take this into the side then. So good job. Come on up. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel the letter C working into your spine. Get more out of it. Let the shoulder draw back. Press into the hand and slow. Switch it out. Let's come to seated star. Release the arm. Bring the soles and feet together. And hands behind this time. Roll shoulders back. Press down to the knee. Stay here. Deep breath in. We're going to set up the other side for modified half lotus. You could be lower on this side, you could be higher on this side. Just pay attention to what your body needs today. Whether that's relaxing forward or PM. Let's breathe. Let's breathe. stretch, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Big mouthful, isn't it? Allows your body to relax a little bit deeper. Really quickly, it's a bit of a Jedi mind trick. One more. Side bend this time. Let's go. As you're at home, really start to listen to your body. You need to guide yourself through your body opening and closing. Release. Who wants a super strong ab track? We're going to work through here today. So lying on your back. If you're pregnant, you can do everything on your elbows or on your hands. Just do the same legs as us. You don't have to do the upper body. Otherwise, you're on your back, knees over hips, fingertips to temples. We're going to start with a double pulse bicycle. Turn to me. Turn to the back. Turn to me. Turn to the back. This is too hard, guys. Just tap your toes. 
anything, but it's still too hard to just do the legs. Just really rotate, shoulder towards me here. Can we do some singles? Let's go. Switch, switch. So don't forget, we want our Pilates grip. We bring out your mouth and your nose. Frogs, four pulses. Knees are wide, your knees together as you extend out the legs. Four, three, two, and extend. Don't forget the breath, breathe out. Breathe in. Can you keep your lower back glued to the ground? Now you're thinking, what can I do if I can't do the upper body? Just pulse the knees in and then extend the legs out. One more time, four. Can we go half time, two? Let's go, two pulses. And extend. Good. Breathe out. Breathe in. If it's still too hard, you can take the feet and arms high. We'll find that easier. Just a few more. This one will be over before you know it. But there's nothing like a good core blast. And that's what you get from this one, that's for sure. Go back to the start. Double pulse. Double pulse. We get a little rest in the back. We want to meet up. We're going to lift the hips. So it's up and up if you want. Up and up. Or you can just take a rest because this is a really strong wood track. I felt this one all week. <laughs> that reverse curl really working. Rex is dominus. Back to the single bicycle. Extend the leg. Or just the legs. My no choice. So back to our four, four times. Four, three, two, and extend. Keep that lower back going down. Keep smiling, especially if you feel your neck. Because that will help you feel better. I promise. It really does. So, speaking of the neck, you want that little gap. It's like you've got an apple tucked between your chin and your chest. All we need is time. Oh, nothing left to worry. We gonna be oh, two more of the four. Two more of the four. We got this, baby. Who wants to do two with me? Let's go now. Two. And extend out. Get your second wind, guys. Well, let's finish this one off. You big lad later. We have those super six pack abs. Let's go. Two more, two more, two more. Oh, oh really hard. We did it. Yes. All right, roll over. We're coming into a down dog, but you might like to start this down dog from plank. So tuck your toes, lift your knees, and then lift your hips super high. You might like to walk through the heels again. Again, 
going to bend the knees, walk back for two, come forward to plank. Again, walk back, come forward. So if you need to, you're on the knees, and that's perfectly fine. So breathing out, breathing in. Who wants a little more? So this part the same, when you lift the leg, as you come forward. Again, back and forwards. If it's too much, you're on the knee. You can even still try the leg lift. But if you want more, let's try the press. Down and up. If you're strong enough to go on the toes, feel free. I'm not going to join you today. One more. Okay, come on back down. If you're pregnant, you might like to go right back to cat and pointer and stick with that. Otherwise, come to bow. One hand forward, one hand back, or both. Feet up to you. Place your foot if you've got the ankle. And then inhale. Lift up. Squeeze your butt. Come higher if you can. Oh, I feel how tight these quads are today. I'm going to set up low chest. Let it go. Hands next to your chest. Feet glued together, turn up down on the floor. Now squeeze your butt tight, roll the shoulders back and feel the hips press down. Will your knees lift off? Who wants more? Reach, forward, hold. Go back, hold. Can you do it without touching? Just a little. Reach. Breathe. And release the breath. Just gently. Keep going, guys. Come on, don't stop working. Two more. I think we can do it, right? Get the chest up. Can you lift your belly too? That's your challenge. Last one. All right, release down. We'll do both on the other side. Or double if you were double before. If you are on the double, try to keep your knees hip width apart. Keep pushing down, slowly stuck. And we're going to go back to the lichen. So lower, feet, squeeze butt, lift chest, let's go, reach. Come on, feel the squeeze, try to keep it there. If you want, you can come back to child's pose or down dog. Or otherwise, that's where we begin. So you pop that too. Come forward into plank. How strong are you? Do you feel strong? We've got one more. 
And then everyone to child's pose. Oh. Return back to yoga now. So relax into it. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And out through the nose. Do some twists. Come on, but hands and knees. Step your front leg forward. Sink into your hips. If you didn't quite make it, just walk the foot forward with your toes. Maybe out to the side. And let your hips sink. Now, if you're pregnant, feel free to turn the other way. Or just make a little bit more space for your belly. Doesn't that feel nice? Getting a little rotation here in our twist. Should we take it that next level? If you do, want to, turn the foot in, tuck tight, lift off, and breathe. And just think about taking that top shoulder back for you. Go for a down dog. Don't forget, walk it out if you want so you can sit down. Maybe just fill it out a little easier. You can hear it? Pretty funky song, I like this one. Thank you. 
But you just see how your body opens and then work your way in a little bit at a time. sideways on your mat. Grab your bum and just make sure it's all the way back behind you. So you're sitting just slightly forward of your sit bones. And then sitting nice and long with the spine. Let your body hinge at your hips and drape down over your thighs. Let the breath help you let go. I want you to just relax your shoulders down, bend your elbows. And really take your time with this pose. We're here for a long time. Use your breath as you inhale, chest lifts and floats forward a little. And as you breathe out, you soften down even more. you and then bringing your chest forward you might bring your hands outside and just lightly hold on to the foot if you can reach otherwise outside the shin side you might feel just a little bit more of a calf stretch in this one and softening. You might imagine your body like an ice sculpture just melting into the floor. Every single breath.
repeat for one more breath. Release, make your way to your back here. Gently into happy baby. So lying on your back, holding your feet or anywhere else you want to hold. If you're pregnant, you can do this seated if you wish. Come into any other position you'd rather do. Just lengthen out through your spine. Extend one leg out and then let the other join it. You might hold the thighs or somewhere else. You might just return back to have your baby. This pose here, the false pose. Find a little trick to it is to just tuck your shoulder blades under, feel your chest open. Coming out through the back of the neck, or just put a little pillow underneath your head if that feels better. You might extend your legs. Out a little bit further and longer. And then breathe in and really extend right out through the fingers and toes. And then as you exhale, let it go. Let's see if you need to make any more adjustments. Whether your body's happy right here. We feel we're resting. In reality, our body's still working. Our mind is still active. Our heart still beats. Our blood still flows. And our lungs still breathe. Flexes our psoas muscle, they get released. It might be the only time in the day that your body is able to just be. Really start to notice your breath now. If you feel a little chilly, just put a blanket or something warm over you. And you might like to do what I like to do. Just imagine yourself lying somewhere super warm, lying on the beach somewhere. Sun shining down on you. See if you 
and take a full diaphragmatic breath as you breathe in. The diaphragm pushes down into the abdominal cavity, the belly loops. As you breathe out, everything just relaxes and lets go. You don't need to do anything. breath, so notice how much your ribs expand as you inhale. You might feel the chest expand, you might feel the ribs on the side and the back of the body also opening, pushing a little bit deeper into the floor. Inhale. So notice what happens to your collarbones. Maybe they rise a little. Notice when you breathe this way, your breath is slowing down just a little bit. You need a whole lot. Your next breath, bring a little turn of your lips and your eyes, a little smile onto your face. As you breathe in, you might like to extend out and stretch again. You might like to bring one or both knees in. What works for your body today? What does it need? No one can see you, so it doesn't matter what you do. You might stretch out your face.
wherever you are now, roll to your right side unless you're already seated. Let your spine settle as you breathe in and out. With your next inhale, push yourself back up and come to see you. We'll finish our class as I always like to with the breath. Get one last big breath in together to seal our practice. And then exhale and just let it go through the center, down to your heart. Thank you so much for joining me for Body Balance today. So if you liked this video, please click on the little like down the button. Don't forget to subscribe so that you know when all our videos are on. And leave a comment if you want to. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> I wasn't as nervous.